Hello children, as we have discussed in our previous videos about being a truth seeker, that was our theme. Today children, as you all know, we are going to meet few truth seekers. Children, as you all know, that our land, India, is full of legends. Many great people had left their legacy of their truthfulness, their honesty and their loyalty towards nation. Children, today we are going to talk about or we will see few truth seekers okay, all over the world. So children, let's see. Now our first scientist and you can say that was a great person. He wanted to know about, I want to know how God created this world. Only his thoughts, the rest are details. So children, here you can see Albert Einstein scientist as we have discussed in our previous video that by experiment by seeking by uh, getting the evidence or by our scientific attitude we can come to the conclusion that this thing is true, this object is true. This is our scientific approach. Because we have discussed this in our previous videos and that videos already we have seen many times that we will become a truth seeker. How can we become a truth seeker? Because of our scientific approach, searching for evidence and proof and how can we get this, uh, how can we become a truth seeker in our day to day life. As we have discussed in our previous videos children that in day to day life before giving to anyone blame or we just put allegation before we must think about that whether this information is correct or not. So children, if we want to tell anyone guilty or announce anyone guilty before that you must have some proof otherwise we can't tell anyone we can't prove anyone as guilty so these things we have already discussed and we are sharing here that great truth seekers all over the world and this is Albert Einstein is one of them. So children, as you all know children, Albert Einstein was a German born theoretical physicist, widely acknowledged to be one of the greatest physicists of all time. Einstein is the best known for developing the theory of relativity but he also made important contribution to the development of the theory of the quantum me mechanics. So children, uh, here you can see Albert Einstein, he wanted to know that how God created the world. So he was one of them, a great truth seeker. Now children here you can see Srinivasa, 
Sri Nivasa Ramanujam, as we all know, he was a, a great mathematician and he uh, said that an equation has no meaning for me unless it expresses a thought of God. So, everything whatever he uh, explained, whatever he invented, whatever he searched, that was only and only the truth or you can say in the other word God. As we have seen his uh, quote that an equation has no meaning for me unless it expresses a thought of God. So, this is the one of the example of truth seeker in mathematics. So, here you can see that science we have already seen because of the truthfulness, because of the uh, curiosity to know the truth, they can able to uh, find the correct thing. Now, here you can see mathematician Srinivasa Ramanujan also wanted to know the truth. That is why he said an equation is nothing for me unless it expresses a thought of God. As you all know children, Srinivasa Ramanujan was an Indian mathematician who lived during the British rule in India. Though he had almost no formal training in Pune mathematics, pure mathematics, he made a substantial contribution to the mathematical concept. And here you can see uh, Ramanujan, uh, an intuitive mathematical genius, Ramanujan's discoveries have influenced several areas of mathematics. But he is probably most famous for his contribution to the number theory and infinite series. So, children, he is also one of the uh, great true seeker. Now, children, we are going to talk about, about art and literature. <clears throat> and this is Walt Whiteman, poet, and he said, in every moment of darkness and light, there is a miracle. So, here children you can see, if we will see in the literary aspect, so we can see that uh, everything in the nature, everything in surrounding, we can see the God's presence. The God's presence everywhere because God has created all the universe. So, that is why Walt Whiteman always observed that God is everywhere and that is why he said in every moment of darkness and light there is a miracle. The nature for the common uh, people, for the common human being, it is impossible to imagine because Scientifically, we can justify the thing that uh, day and night is a very natural thing in science. But if we will see from the eye of the literature and the poetry, so we can see that it is a miracle for the poet. The beauty lies in that. So, children, this is the beautiful thing that if we will see this miracle every day, it is a God gift for us that we can able to see the sun every morning. And as you all know children, sun is a source of energy and moon gives us calmness and peace in the night. So, children, these are the miracles, the universal body or you can say celestial bodies are miracles for everyone because it is not a common 
people or common men deed. It's a great and great creator's creation. That is why Walt Whiteman said that these are the things miracle for us. Every single day he just hypnotized by the beauty of nature. And his miracle is, you can say, beyond his imagination. So that is why Walt Whiteman always believe in truthfulness. Now children, if we will talk about or you can see, we will see the example of truth seeker and in him, the great Mahatma Gandhi, father of the nation, social and political leader and he said, I worship God as truth only. I have not yet found him, but I am seeking after him. As his saying, you can understand that I worship God. He worshipped God as truth. Ek sach ki tarah unhone Ishwar ki aradna kari. I has not yet found him. Unhone usko paya nahi. But I am seeking after him. He was curious about God. He was curious about loyalty. He was curious about honesty. He was searching God everywhere. But he could not able to find or he but he was not able to meet God. But the thing he discovered that he continuous, continuously he just searched and continuously he became a disciple of God. He was searching, searching everywhere. That was the beauty of his nature. Mahatma Gandhi was a great leader and he inspired many lives, children. And today also, we are getting inspired by the Mahatma Gandhi and his reason, children. And he was a truth seeker. He was a great truth seeker. Now, children, here you can see J. Krishnamurti, teacher and philosopher. In religion we can see, he said, truth is the real God. It needs a rich mind, rich not with knowledge but with innocence. J. Krishnamurti said this, truth is the real God. As we believed that truth is God, children, God is truth. If you know God, the God will deliver you. So children, here J. Krishnamurti said, Truth is the real God. There are so many gods we are worshipping, but children, Truth is the real God. Sach hi Ishwar hai. Satya hi Sundar hai. Satya hi Ishwar hai. And it's need a rich mind, rich not with knowledge, but with innocence. Sirf shikshao se hi, sirf knowledge se hi, ye pura nahi hai, ye rich nahi hai. But with innocence, with humbleness, it is filled with humbleness. Truth mein arrogance nahi hota, truth mein humbleness hoti hai. Yehi to beauty hai truthfulness ki. So he searched in religion also and he found and he declared truth is the real God in religion also. So J. Krishnamurti, leader and philosopher, he announced that truth is the real God 
it is need a rich mind, rich not with the knowledge, but with innocence. Now here children you can see and there are many more truth seeker in all the fields of life children. As you can see in science Stephen Hawking, Isaac Newton, J.C. Bose, in mathematics Descartes, Gauss, Ellier, Aryabhata, in poetry, literature, arts and music. Arbindo, Rumi, Rabindranath Tagore, William Wordsworth. In national public life, they are all truth seeker children. Martin Luther King, he nailed. And here Nelson Mandela, as we have discussed about him in the previous video. Abraham Lincoln. In religion, you can see Sant Tukaram. Guru Nanak, Saint Augustine of Hippo and many more children. They were real or real hero children for us and they were really truth seekers. We can't deny because of their great achievement we can able to understand that they searched they reached their destination. This is the beauty of their deeds. Now children as we have searched and we have discussed 8 sessions. So today we are going to review of our 6 universal possibility that we have discussed. So that was first was being heroic as we have done that uh, uh, be courageous all the time and never uh, lose hope. So this is called courageous or being heroic. And here we have discussed about being heroic that uh, uh, we just take a stand against uh, any mishappening or agar kisi ke sang kuch sata hota hai aur wo itna kamzor hai ki wo stand nahi le pa raha hai. You should stand beside him and be acting with the honesty and integrity irrespective and consequences. Now by keeping the commitments we make by choosing to obey. So these are the things we have discussed and in what way are each of the following people being heroic? So here we, we are having a checklist that on the basis of that we will see that how many examples we have seen that uh, uh, Madhvi, Madhvi breaks her mother favorite was she knows her mother will be very angry but she goes to her mother and apologize telling her what was happened. Yes, this is true. And this is honesty despite. And now here you can see Sajid loses all his money and his house in a business crisis yet he does not lose hope. He, he decided to uh, rebuild his life. So this is courage to face challenges. Chitra is unwell yet she goes to play the final school match because she does not want to let her uh, does not want to let her uh, team members. So this is you can say keeping commitments. Now here Kapil rather fathers tell him to quiet in front of the uh, grandfather even he insults him in anger. Kapil does not understand why his father is telling him this. Yet he controls himself and does what he is told because he respects his father's wisdom. So this is also uh, you can see choosing to obey. Now uh, Sushma was in the organization learned for the school function, organizing a team for a school function. 
other used as an excuse to escape from the school work but sushma has determined to uh, manage both activities and do them well even in a meant more effort so this is also keeping commandments that we have already discussed in our previous video children okay so children these things we have discussed and here we have already done the checklist on the basis of that we can understand that uh, in which situation the uh, person is performing so we have to tick on that because this shows their wisdom this shows their courageousness and this shows their obedience this shows their patience so children we have discussed today lots of thing about uh, truth seekers and about what we have uh, already done uh, to being heroic so that was also a universal possibility we have discussed in our previous videos and sessions so children today we are going to conclude this session with the hope that you uh, will continue your uh, curiosity to search the truth okay children so we will meet again in our next video till then bye bye and take care of yourself